Hi all, in this video today we are going to be looking at algebraic fractions and we're going to be looking at can we multiply algebraic fractions. Okay, so this is in chapter 11 and it is part 2 in chapter 11. Okay, so basically this topic is very similar to chapter 1.3, okay, fractions. But not just normal fractions, we're going to be dealing with algebra this time. However, the main thing to always remember when tackling these questions and these problems is that what you would do with normal fractions, so just fractions with just pure numbers in them, no algebra, the rules apply for algebraic fractions. Okay, so how you would multiply two normal fractions together, we would multiply two algebraic fractions in the same way. Okay, and what I mean by that is we would times both the numerators together, times both the denominators together. Okay. And also how we can simplify works the same way as well. Okay, so we're going to look at these three examples to show you how we can multiply algebraic fractions together. Okay, so here are your three questions in your notes. So we're going to calculate x squared over 12. Okay, so that's now an algebraic fraction, it's got algebra in it, multiplied by 8 over x. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to look at seeing if we can cross multiply, eh, cross. Eh, simplify okay now what i do is i cross simplify just the numbers okay just so that it keeps it very similar to the process that we done when we were doing normal fractions okay so if i am looking at my diagonals here okay x squared and x okay well there's not any whole numbers in front of them okay so i'm just going to leave them alone just now okay however if you look at my other diagonal 8 over 8 and 12 okay I can simplify both those numbers, okay? I can cancel the 8 and cancel the 12. In other words, I'm dividing them both by the same number. I'm going to divide them both by 3, okay? And then, not by 3, sorry, by 4, sorry. If I divide them both by 4, I'm going to get a 2 there and I'm going to get a 3 there, okay? So what this question has became very quickly is x squared over 3, and I'm multiplying that now by 2 over x, okay? So where we're going to multiply these together, okay, and I'm going to multiply my both my numerators and my denominators together. So x squared times 2, okay, that's going to give me 2 lots of x squared, okay, it's better to write the numbers first. And I'm going to times 3 by x, I'm going to get 3x there, okay. So that's that there. That's not me fully simplified because you'll notice now I've got x's both on top and bottom now, okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to simplify this. So what x squared means, okay, is that I've got 2 times x times by another x. Okay, so 2x squared means I've got 2 times x times x. And on the bottom I've got 3 times x. What I can do is I can cancel an x on both lines. Okay, so I can cancel that x with that x there. Okay, I can cancel both x's on top because I've only got one on the bottom. Okay, so that means that my answer on the top becomes 2 times x, which is 2x. And I've got 3 times, well, the x is gone, it's just a 1 there now, really, okay? So, therefore, I've got 2x over 3, okay? And that would be my fully simplified answer, okay? Now, if you are more observant, you would have maybe noticed that I could have got that answer quicker by simplifying x squared and x on this diagonal. So, for example, I could have cancelled an x there with an x there. That would have just left me, I'll rub that out there. So that would have left me, I'll do this in blue so you know that my working is for the bottom bit, okay? So that would have left me just, if I cancelled that x, I'd have 1 left there. If I cancelled an x on the x squared, I'd have been left with just an x there. And you'd have seen I'd have got x times 2, which is 2x, 3 times 1, which is 3, which is my final answer. So you might be able to see this quicker, folks. However, for my advice, if you find this tricky, just deal with the numbers first, then we can deal with the algebra second, okay? So we'll look at my second example now. So... Again here, we're going to cross simplify, okay, so I'm dealing with the numbers, so I'm going to look at my diagonals first, okay, so I can cancel 10 and 5, because I can divide them both by 5, that gives me a 2 there and a 1 there, and I can cancel both the 14 and the 7 here, because that becomes a 1, and that becomes a 2, I can divide them both by 7, okay, so what my fractions now become, okay, I have now got, not 10 y squared, but I've got 2 y squared, divided by 1x, and that's going to multiply by 2x squared over 1y. Okay, so I'm going to multiply them both together. Deal with the numbers first. Okay, so I've got 2y squared times 2x squared. 2 times 2 is 4. So 
that when I have a y squared with an x squared, I would write the x squares first, okay, they come before the y's in the alphabet. So I've got x squared, then a y squared, and then I've got an x and a y there, okay. So if we split them up, okay, so thinking about how many x's I've got on the top and how many x's I've got on the bottom, and same with the y's, okay, what I can do is I can cancel one of the x's with one of the x on the top because what I've got on the top is 4 times x times another x times a y times a y okay so x times x is x squared y times y is y squared then on the bottom I've got x times a y there so what that happens is I can cancel that x with that x there and I can cancel that y with that y there therefore my final answer I'm going to have 4 times that x times that y, so I've got 4xy divided by, well the x and y are vast, however I need to remember there is still 1 there, okay, so 4xy over 1, which just gives me 4xy, okay, so again that would be that simplified fully. Okay, we'll look at the last question now. So hopefully you're seeing it's the same thing that I'd be doing with normal numbers, just I've got to deal with just the algebra. Okay, so again, same thing here. We're going to look to see if we can simplify our numbers first of all. So on the diagonal with the n's on it, so n and 3n, okay, I've got 1n and 3n, the 1 and 3 won't simplify. However, on the m's, the 10 and the 2 will. Write them both by 2, I'm going to get 5 and 1 there. Write my fraction out again. Okay, so that's going to be 5m squared over 3n times n over 1m which is just m okay now what i'm looking to do is combine them now so i'm multiplying them together 5m squared times n that's going to give me 5m squared n 3n times n but i'm going to write the m first so i'm going to get 3m n okay and again let's see what we've got that we can simplify so let's think about what i've got on the numerator so that's going to be 5 times m times m, because I've got m squared, 2 m's, and I've also got an n there. And that's going to be divided by 3 times m times by n there. Okay, so let's see what I can simplify. So m and that m can cancel, n and that n can cancel. So what I have left with is I'm going to have 5 times m on the top, which is 5m, and I'm going to have just 3 on the bottom, okay, because the m and the n cancelled, and that would be my answer simplified, okay. So our times in algebraic fractions, we're multiplying algebraic fractions, we try and simplify the numbers first before we move on, then we deal with the algebra that they asked, rather than trying to do it on one go, I think that's the best way of trying this stuff, okay, once you get more confident you may see how this works, okay, however initially I would follow the same steps I'm doing just so you can break it down into two sections for you, okay. Alright, thanks for listening.